Okay, we have Luca. We had to discuss with Luca the GPS so that he could take us up the hill. Oh no, he wanted to see if she would swipe left or right yeah. on his dating profile. I want to see the radio. Otherwise, we could get real drunk. Yes, I have to seriously think about it. What, well, gone crazy, uncle? Well, I thought she... Oh, he wasn't going to tell us... Oh, right, he said that there was a forum post that allowed him to figure out the... All right, we'll see. Because with the internet back on, we can find a way to overcome the the drunkenness, the hangover or something. Mm -hmm. Luca, the internet's back on. Oh, yes, yes. I was just getting on garlic. Let's see here. Oh. Oh. Oh, man, what is it? I is it bad? Well, uh, kind of, but uh, in a way, not really. Did she go for you or Vasile? Um, neither. She's into girls. Huh. Who knew? <laughs> oh, man. Sorry about that. Hey, don't worry about it. Plenty of fish in the sea. At least that hipster Vasile doesn't stand a chance either. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right, but could you look up that thing about Suica now? Oh, sure thing. Let's see... If... Alright, here it is. Buzz says here that swallowing a spoonful of vegetable oil before drinking coats your inside so that alcohol doesn't absorb. That might actually work but don't try this at home and all that never underestimate your audience's intelligence friend here have some of mine norok uh, that was almost worse than tsuika uh, all right it would seem I'm oiled up and ready to go. I'm all oiled up. Might as well tell Vasile he has no hope. Evening. Oh, it's you again. What is it? Oh, no, we can't inform him. Goodbye. Nope. See you around. He's kind of a dick, though. Your he can just waste his futile. time forever. And see. And spread of bread and whatever else he's I know, eating. I food. So good. I'll have that drink with you. All right, here you go. Norok. Has he passed the test? Okay, friend. Ask me anything. Really? Those are the questions you want to ask about? Yeah. Well, the first one. All right, what's with the nasty attitude? Rodi looks like he's one of ours. That's what I was afraid of, Ishti. Look, it's nothing personal. There are certain expectations people have from townsfolk living next to ancient castles in Transylvania. Yes, it was either this or perpetually scared and covering in the dark corners. But there's no need to be scared. Not anymore. So, we're just nested to foreigners since they kind of expect it. <laughs> just a recommendation from the Transylvanian Tourist Board. Not tourist boards again! Ah. Uh, so, let's see. Nothing to be afraid of anymore, especially because there's supposed to be a... Uh, a dragon corpse beneath the, the Just go down the list. Might as well. What did you mean by nothing to be afraid of anymore? The ancient castle up on the craggy hill. It's got Thunder. a pretty bad reputation. Actually, so bad that no one ever even claimed it for hundreds of years. Until Baron Ferenczi came. That is. 
him and his strange sounds and experiments. Well, that all lasted until one night there was a big boom. And no one ever saw the Baron or his men again. Oh. Hmm, weird. How does this Ferency look? No one ever saw his face. Always huddled up in a huge trench coat and his face hidden. We're all glad to be rid of him. If rid we are. Curse him for messing with our superior Transylvanian broadband. <laughs> the broadband internet. Anything else expected of you regarding foreigners? Oh, you know. Silently frowning when asked anything. Running out of the room all of a sudden. The classics. We used to do the whole torches and pitchfork thing every once in a while. Ah, that was fun. Until these numbskulls almost burned down an entire street. We've been holding on to that for really special occasions. I still say Vasily poked me in the butt intentionally last February. He's always <laughs> envied my mustache. Always. Oh, shut up, Istvan. Ah, oh, that's funny. Okay. Come on, seriously. What was that about my last name? Mr. Corv... Kerwin. I think you have enough on your plate already to worry about that. Just old local legends. And the resembles Roddy? Do you see it? Oh, I see it, darling. What resemblance? What are you talking about? There... There might be things in your past. Well, not your past. Dark things you might have to look into in the future. When the time is right. Are you guys just shamelessly teasing something that I won't even get to explore until my next adventure? <clears throat> we would not dare, Master Corp. Kervan. Um, where were we? <laughs> this is all fascinating, but I'm here looking for a girl named Peace. Yes, she was here. She got some supplies and left for the castle and the thunder at that moment Woo <laughs> there it is is it me or there's a thunderclap every time the castle's mentioned <laughs> the castle i don't hear it Roddy? i mentioned the castle a lot and i never hear any thunder <laughs> must be my imagination no, I just want to keep mentioning. Okay, at least the next line has the castle in it. Then I need to get to the castle. <laughs> Talk to Luca. He'll probably take you there if there's GPS again. Is the castle abandoned now that Ferenc is apparently gone? Oh no, its rightful heir Vlad has since returned. Vlad, huh? Indeed. Tell me something about this Vlad. He loves... Yes? To battle! Oh boy. What else can you tell me about the castle? <laughs> well, it actually was an old monastery. Hundreds of years ago. It somehow got corrupted sometime in the past. And they tore it down. Yes. Nothing but the steeple remained, and they built the castle around it. Interesting. Well, thanks for everything, Rodika and Istvan. You're welcome. We're just glad to be able to be our own hospitable selves again. Isn't that right, Isti? It is! And the sooner you get the heck out of our town, region and country, the better for everyone. Enjoy your stay in a beautiful, scenic Transylvania. Thanks. I will. Well, then we have our answers. I still really like long the thunder chapter. claps. I think 
think everything we need is has been taken care of. I don't know what the trash is for, but I think we have everything. Hey, Luca, could you take me to the castle? To be honest, I'd rather not. But what the heck? You're my friend now. Meet me outside when you're ready. See you later, Luca. Talk to you soon, Buzz. I was disappointed that at the mention of castle, Thunderclap just didn't... Emerge. I'm kind of disappointed we didn't have an option that was castle, 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 castle. Castle! Castle, castle! Yeah, pretty much. Right. Luca and Rosie. What a quaint little horse-drawn carriage. Good to know there's a functioning vehicle around here. That's a good horsey. Well, Kitty, I guess it's off to the castle. Yep. Vlad's castle. Let's do it. So you were apprehensive around the town folk, but a guy called Vlad in a dark castle on a craggy hill that's actually a desecrated monastery just gets a, uh, sure, let's do this? Don't take this personally, Buzz, but the fewer humans, the better. Well, maybe except Luca. He seems marginally better. Good guy, Luca. <gasps> oh, the masked men. This seems like a problem. The masks. Wait, there's two options to go back down the hill? Apparently. A group of Fierce, intimidating masks are blocking our way to the castle. These must be the masks the legend speaks of. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared right now. I say you let us through. Do my eyes and ears deceive me? It... it spoke! Yes, it did, and it wants to get to the castle, so step off, clowns! Let us not be hasty here. But it's just like in the tale! It is not just like in the tale. I only see one talking cat. Must be just clever trickery. It's not. She can actually speak. Silence, deceiver! But... It is not just like in the tale. It is some kind of trick. Be gone! Walk no further. Turn away and leave. Hmm. Interesting. You want to say we need to talk to Vlad or imperative to make it to the castle? Which one do you think? Hi, it's imperative that I make it to the castle. We are under strict orders not to let anyone through. Turn around, leave, do not return. Strict orders from who? From he who rightfully owns the place. Turn around, leave. I think we need to challenge this guy's right. Because we could be potentially the heir? I think so. I need to talk to Vlad right away. Truly, you mock us. Leave. Nice evening, huh? <laughs> Turn around, leave. That was a little rude of you. Come on, I really need to get through. Not without word from the master. He's expecting me. No one is expected. We know nothing of you. Leave and do not return. I think I'll return to town. Bye. So we tried using Kide on them, but... They were expecting two cats, the black cat and the white cat. But how do we... Oh, because the other cat sounds like a dog. It could be 
the shepherd girl as the black cat and the dog as the white cat, right? We do need them. Hey, Maria, here's an idea. Why don't I walk Kiss in the mountains for you? I'm headed that way. I don't know about that. <sighs> look, I normally would tell you never to give your pet away to a stranger, but look, I'm on a magical quest, and I need Kiss help. What do you say? I'll bring him right back. Hmm, I would say no, but you do have a magical talking cat, and you don't seem like a bad person. I guess I can make one exception. I would not ask if it wasn't super important, and Kiskis will enjoy the mountain air. All right, bye bye. Hold on right there. I may be young, but I'm not dumb. I hold on your passport until you bring my kitty back. Thank you. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Come on, Buzz, fork it over. Okay, everyone know their roles, right? Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> All Sissa needs to do is is bark. Oh, is the second cat gonna come up on the left? Right. I say you let us through. Whoever you are, be be gone with your trickery. Who I am? I am Miwara, and this is my trusty sheepdog, Azor. <laughs> <laughs> now step aside and let us through. It is them! It is them! You have returned! You truly have returned! Forgiveness! Forgiveness! I had no way of knowing! You are forgiven. Your path to the castle is open any time. Oh, that's a cool tune. At the end of the... Oh, no. We do return the cat dog. Here he is, as promised, safe and sound. Yay! Did he help you on your magical journey? Him and Kitty defeated an army of scary masked people all by themselves. Wow, really? How did they do that? Well, we're cats, so we did what we do best. We outsmarted them. And I think I have the perfect name for your kitty. How's Azor, Azor sound? OMG, it's perfect! Azor! <laughs> Excellent. Well, we must be on our way. Thanks for all your help, Maria and Azor. Take care, Buzz and Kitty. I love you, buddy, but you are one confused feline. I really like the color palette for this section. I mean, this whole game has been orange. gorgeous. Like, visually, this is probably one of the most impressive point-and-click adventure games I've ever seen. It's mm -hmm. got a nice style to it. It's very bright, it's very colorful, it's very crooked. That castle looks like a wizard. It really does. <laughs> the castle is a transformer. No, that probably won't happen. But let's see. And look at the abyss. All right, I'll admit it. My knees are trembling just a tad. It's a long way down to the bottom. Sort of makes you wonder what it would feel like to just jump. Nope, don't <sighs> get those thoughts in your head. Nope. Oh, get it together, Bozinski. Gargoyles. I do like the fiddle music. Oh, yeah. A pretty standard model as gargoyles go. Man, Steve the gargoyle over at the library is way creepier than this one. <laughs> Steve? Well, that's because Steve is modeled after Cthulhu. 
Get your stuff together, Transylvania. We're out creeping you. Maybe I could use somebody, but it ain't this gargoyle. <laughs> I bet I'm the first to ever make that joke. Feels good, man. Pile of rocks? A very conspicuous pile of rocks right next to the gate. Hmm, why would you have a pile of rocks randomly placed next to the entryway? To knock, perhaps? I thought there was just a little bit more that we could have looked at if we were out a ways. Nope. Oh, blood red skies. Blood red skies. The blood red sky and the tower. Funny thing, the closer we got to the castle, the redder the sky became. I wonder if it's some kind of local weather phenomenon or... Uh, let's stick with the weather theory. Kind of looks like a crime scene, only in the sky and way less grisly. I, uh, don't know what I'd do with this guy. <laughs> He's upon it. She's a ninja, but flying's not in the feature list. <laughs> okay, the tower. This looks like a wizard's hat. Whoa, that's quite the sight. That's the old monastery's bell tower surrounded by the castle on all sides. Awesome. I wonder if I'll get a chance to visit. That'd be radical. Is it gonna pan back down and I have to pan up again just to look at it? Yep. Yep. Let's go back. I so want to get up there. The view must be crazy. Yeah, we've already looked at the abyss. That was when he was contemplating jumping. Well then. The only thing to do is... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Back up a moment. Back up a moment. Those three windows. First, I need to get inside the castle. I'm going to go out of ways. Yeah? Notice there? Yeah. Is that... Cat person, another cat? Maybe cat, cat, and skull of some sort? Could be. Yeah. We'll have to look. Let me get in closer. Let's see what the front gate is like. It's the front gate. I'll bet it's locked. Do I really want to get past it? That be the question. No, I should walk in first. It could be dangerous. Oh, because I'm a defenseless little cat, huh? I can totally squeeze under the gate and let you in. No, that's, that's not the reason. Oh, because I'm a girl then, huh? Hey, it's gentlemanly of me to take the risk before you do, all right? Oh, give me a break. Fine, whatever. Speaking of break... Aha! The key to the gate was hidden under one of these rocks. Wait! Who but Buzz Kerwin could defeat such a display of excellence and security? Get that over yourself and let's just get in. See, kitty? Solved the problem, kept you safe. Yeah, yeah, this damsel in potential distress is overflowing with gratefulness. Let's move. Oh my god, it's still going. Whoa, this, this is a long this chapter. Is, this chapter is too long. Do you want me to save here yeah, and then we'll resume this it? Because I was like, yeah, let's only play like two hours of Gibbous today, and I think we're like pushing three or four. Mm hmm. And it's like, I like this game, it's entertaining. But like, oh boy, so does well, I was not awake enough going into this. Or the autosave, I should- I Just can... do new save game. No, 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 no. Go up to the top. Perfect. Okay. Cool. It's an interesting assembly of art. It is an interesting game. And I think that- it's implying that guy's a DJ over oh, there. Oh yeah, he is DJing. <laughs> what even? I- we'll unpack the rest of this next time, for sure. <laughs>